Hey guys, Anthony Piacciabona here, back with another video. And in today's video, we first of all have a new mic. We got the Blue Yeti mic, did a little investment to upgrade the sound quality for the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what else you'd like me to upgrade. I want to be providing the best quality content I can for you to help you build your wealth and be entertained at the same time. Because remember, this is all entertainment purposes only. That's all. But in today's video, we're going to go over my investing and trading strategies to build my wealth over time. Just going to share my thought process and how I have built my wealth and how I continue to plan on building my wealth. If you appreciate the transparency or learn something here or get entertained, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And subscribe for more portfolio updates like this and my thought process behind all of my trades. Without further ado, let's get right into today's video. I started investing in the stock market two years ago and decided to be a buy and hold long-term investor. I first saw Amazon, I saw Apple, I invested in Tesla, and then I ended up selling all my positions from mutual funds, ETFs, Apple, Amazon, and pouring it all into Tesla as Tesla stock continued to fall below $200 per share pre-split. I saw the opportunity, I saw it was too good to be true based on my research and my analysis, and I ended up going heavy all in onto Tesla because I saw the opportunity in my mind was too good to be true on the potential upside. The way I invest is when I find one, two, maybe three max opportunities that I feel are huge, I will go all in on those one, two, or three opportunities and concentrate all of my capital in those. That's just how I personally do it. A lot of people recommend the diversified approach. That's great. I go by Warren Buffett. What he says is diversification is protection against ignorance, meaning that if you don't know what you're doing, then it's great to diversify to ensure you're safe. However, if you do know what you're doing, then going all in on one, two, or three things is typically the best approach. And Warren Buffett actually suggested saying that you don't need more than three good opportunities in a lifetime to build lifetime wealth. We have Mark Cuban saying diversification is for idiots. We have Andrew Carnegie, who has built mass amounts of wealth, saying put all of your eggs in one basket and watch that basket. Now, I just named three people that are saying things that are completely contradicting towards what a large amount of finance leaders suggest. Honestly, you can build your wealth any way you want. There are so many ways to build your wealth we can't just take one method as gospel. Don't believe that there's one way to build wealth or two ways or three ways. There is endless ways to build your wealth and endless methods. I'm just sharing what I believe in and what I believe works best well for my personality and my style. Take this with a grain of salt and then you can apply some things, take what you like, take what you don't like, and let me know your feedback in the comments below. So I plan to go all in on one, two, or three things. I went all in on Tesla, and I still hold the majority of my wealth in Tesla stock. I truly believe that Tesla will be the largest company in the world within the next five to 10 years. So in my mind, there's no greater opportunity and no safer opportunity to put my wealth into Tesla because if I could do all of my research, put all of my homework, all of my energy and all of my effort into Tesla and have the highest conviction and the highest belief in it, then it's the safest because if I, if I am analyzing it every single day and seeing what comes out, processing it and then deciding whether it's still the safest, whether it still has the greatest upside or not, then in, from my point of view, it is best to put all of my money into that one basket and watch that basket. That's the first piece. Now, the second piece is I have found a use for doing short-term trading with margin. Now, I don't suggest this whatsoever, but I have had success with day trading. I started with an account, a fake account, and once I was doing that for trading for three months, day trading, basically breaking even, buying some courses, learning about day trading. I took some courses on Forex trading, did that for a while. Then I began trading with $2,000 and I would trade with $2,000 each day, day trade in the first 30 minutes of market open. Did that for a few months, ended up making a few hundred dollars. So I was proving that I could be consistently profitable. Now this is about nine months. This started before COVID hit. I was doing this day trading, learning. And then I began to do options trading throughout that time as well with about a $10,000 account. And I would win some, I would lose some, I would win some, I would lose some. And then I ended up coming out on top by a few thousand dollars. Fast forward to about a few months ago, I began to do some margin trading where I would take $100,000 of margin and buy a high conviction stock, hold that for one to two to three weeks, and then sell out. And I saw great success with that. 
earning about 10% in a few weeks from the hold. So 10% on $100,000, I'd make $10,000 profit on margin where it's not even my money. So I'd be making this $10,000 on trading on top of my buy and hold Tesla stock position that I don't touch. So rule number one is I don't, t- I don't touch Tesla stock. My goal is to use margin trading for short-term trades with some options hedging to earn more income to buy more Tesla shares. That's my whole strategy. So I go all in on one company, I research the company every single day, and then I research other opportunities for short-term trading that I plan to flip every one, two, three, or four weeks while using options trading, either selling puts or selling covered calls against my shares for increased income to go ahead and use that money into buying more shares of Tesla stock. Because right now, Tesla stock still seems to be the greatest, safest, most growth opportunity in my mind over the next five to 10 years. So it's a no brainer for me to continue to buy Tesla stock over the next coming years with this income from my margin trading. So that's the three pronged approach. Number one, find a company that I believe in for the next five to 10 years, put the majority of my wealth into that company, run covered calls against it for an extra $40,000 a month in income passively on that. Plus research other opportunities for swing trading to go along with hype. Because in my, in my mind, you can play off of catalysts and hype to benefit over short-term swing trading, holding positions for one, two, or three, or four weeks for 10, 20% gains on those positions. On top of that, I will also sell puts on companies that I don't mind owning that I'm bullish on. So I sell puts on them because I don't believe they will fall to that price in the short time period. That also adds to my income. And that works out to be another roughly ten to twenty thousand dollars per week selling puts, plus my roughly forty thousand or more a month income from selling cover calls against my Tesla position because that position has grown so much. On top of the gains I make from the buy and hold positions that you see here, like Palantir and CRISPR that I currently have, as you saw, I sold out a square for about a $10,000 profit. So I have multiple ways of earning income just with my trading alone, excluding my other income sources like my business and what I actually do for the majority of my day. That sums up my whole philosophy on my trading and what I plan to do. If we take a look at my other account, I took the profits on some of my puts as they're expiring tomorrow, December 31st. And I opened up two more puts that I'm selling on Tesla for the 620 strike expiring next Friday, which means that if Tesla falls to 620 or below by next Friday, then I'm forced to buy 200 shares of Tesla. Now I want to buy more Tesla shares. If I buy these 200 shares of Tesla at 620, I'm then able to run two more contracts of covered calls each week for income because I'll have 200 extra shares. And just a few days ago, I initiated some covered calls on Tesla with the 750 strike being for next Friday, January 8th. And I collected $4.63 per contract. I have 13 contracts here. So you multiply 13 by $4.60 times 100. And that worked out to be 6,000 US that I collect in one week. So each week I can collect roughly $6,000 US on covered calls for Tesla. Now, if I'm forced to buy those 200 other shares at 620, well, now I can run 15 contracts because I'll have 1500 shares in my margin account of Tesla. What this means is when I do buy those 200 extra shares of Tesla, and I have the cash to do that from the profits of my margin trading and my, my options trading, I will then be able to collect another $4.60 times two contracts, which works out to be roughly $920 extra that I will collect each week in premiums from selling covered calls against those 200 extra Tesla shares. I'm using all this trading to build up the nest egg more, which is then able to increase my income more. Like I said, if those get executed, those puts at 620, I can now earn an extra $920 per week US. Works out to be over 4,000 Canadian a month just from buying those 200 extra shares of Tesla. Not to mention the premiums I collected for selling the puts in the first place. My ultimate goal right now is to earn enough income from trading my business and everything and save enough to purchase 100 shares of Tesla 
every single month. To summarize, my trading strategy is to go all in on one or two opportunities that I have the highest conviction in growth and success rate over the next five to 10 years or more, then use margin for short-term trading while using cover calls against that position that I'm all in on for additional income, while also running some puts that'll be selling against positions I would love to also own on margin that I would love to own at a lower price. However, I'm also bullish on them in the short term, so I don't even believe they will get down to that price because the goal with selling those puts is to not get them actually exercised. So I have the income from the capital gains on the margin trades that I'm purchasing, the stock. I have the income from the covered calls and I have the income from selling the puts. That's my trading strategy. The other side is my business and my job and all the other income streams. And that's my trading strategy. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. What do you like about it? What do you hate about it? Where do you see the red flags? I already know where you probably see the red flags, but let me know in the comments below. This is all for entertainment purposes only. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more portfolio updates like this, and I'll see you in the next video.